J O R A N C L A R K S O N. Okay, can we just ask you about that? Like, <laughs> we're just like at the mall, and she was just like, "Hey, do you have a take on like jazz? Like, what? What? How did that actually happen?" Well, I was like furniture shopping. Okay. Uh, and uh, I just walked out. And then uh, she was like, yeah, can, can I ask you some questions? So I thought it was going to be about like the city or something. I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> uh, she was like, can you spell your name? I mean, y'all seen the video. Yeah. So I just was like, all right, yeah, cool. Like, I'm going to answer the questions like she asked me. <laughs> she asked me if I went to a lot of jazz games. I said, yeah, a lot. <laughs> probably should have said I get courtside tickets and all that. But you know, I just wanted to keep it calm and chill. <laughs> Did you at any point in time think about saying, hey, you know, um, I'm a player? Nah, nah, I just let it, I gotta I got keep it player, man. Just keep it, let her keep rolling and kept asking questions. She was like, hey, would you ever play for the Jazz? Then I might have been like, yeah, you know, I actually do. But she kept the questions nice and, uh, nice and short and sweet. How long did this exchange go on? Uh, we interviewed for like a minute. We was talking about, uh, the, like the tickets and, having fans and all of that, you know, um, they were saying like, some fans wasn't going to come, but I mean, if you don't come, you're missing the best show in town for real, so you know how it is. We about to get to it, get after it. Um, you know, we got one main goal this year, and um, you know, we're going to rack up a lot of wins, so if you do what you got to do, get your COVID test, get your vaccine, just be at the games, because, you know, we're going to put on a great show for everybody this year. To that point, Jordan, uh, Justin Zanuck was just in here and told us that the team and staff and everyone is 100% vaccinated. I'm sure that you've seen the news coming out in recent days, the players that are pushing back. And is it a point of pride for you to know that this team is all on board on the same page? Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, everybody has their own personal decisions and stuff like that. But uh, to have everybody, you know, ready and, uh, you know, who knows, people still can get, you know, the, the virus. And, stuff like that, but to have everybody, you know, vaccinated, ready to play, and uh, able to, you know, do team things, and uh, still have access, you know, not to be locked in a room this year, and, you know, we got, we got new guys, so, you know, it's going to be nice to, you know, bring them all in and kind of bond with them, so it's definitely, um, you know, something that I feel is, is great for us and great for the team, and uh, we're ready to go. What are you most excited for in terms of like, <laughs> what's different this year versus last year? Uh, I mean, I, and I guess mostly like encore. Yeah, I mean we got we got some new faces. Um, definitely like to see what you know everybody brings to the team. You know, I, I ran some pickup games. Uh, what was it last this last week? Um, you know, seeing a bunch of the guys. You know, Eric being a dog and uh, how talkative he is and. You know, he's uh, he's someone that I really haven't like watched and, and, and seen much of, but uh, what I've seen in those pickup games, is, it's a great, you know, uh, addition to the team. And then Hassan being so big and, uh, you know, being able to move and what he's done and, you know, his NBA career. And, you know, he's hungry. Um, and it's great to see that as well. And then the new guys, JB and everybody, uh, you know, I'm excited to see those guys grow. And, continue to you know be great great additions to this team as well what do you, what do you think of Jared Butler because you know a lot of people behind the scenes have been you know saying that yo he's he's kind of nice with yeah. it so yeah he got game he's uh, uh he has great pace uh, you know he's really shifty and you know he can shoot the ball as well so uh, if you can shoot the ball in the league you're gonna be around here for a while <laughs> but uh yeah, I think he's he's great. He's gonna keep continue to grow as a player as well. So, just seeing him in those pickup games and you know him, this training camp gonna be big for him as well. Um, but I'm excited to see you know what he got in store for us as well too. What was the highlight of your off season? Highlight of my off season, uh, laying down in my bed. It was it was a busy off season for me, man. New York Fashion Week, uh, traveling. Just trying to, you know, find time to relax, but um, it wasn't like a super long off season, but uh, it's a quick turnaround, but working and, you know, just trying to, you know, get places and, you know, 
being vaccinated and, you know, see people that I haven't seen in like two years and stuff like that. So being able to, you know, see people, you know, hang out, chill. But once I got in my bed, man, I was like, <laughs> and then real tough, the best highlights coming back here in Salt Lake, man, get this, get this thing started for real. How did the, uh, the how did the plan to go to Vegas for summer league kind of come about? Were you were you involved in the discussions of that at all? Um, yeah, they asked me about it. <clears throat> I'm not a super big fan of going to Vegas, but uh, we're gonna enjoy our time and um, you know have fun. It's training camp, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be cool. It's kind of like a almost like a bubble situation where we practicing in in the wind. So it's gonna be it's restaurants and stuff to do around there. You know, a few guys probably be on some tables, but <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's gonna be a great bonding experience. Like you said, taking us out of our element, you know, being at home and being around our families and, and kids like that, uh, you know, bringing us all together again. So the bubble made us a lot closer, sped the process up for me as well. So I think it's a good uh, good thing to kind of you know get going um, early in the season for training camp. Is it feeling a little bit more normal today than it has the past two years? Uh, yeah, especially seeing y'all. <laughs> y'all were just like uh, digital characters for me you know, <laughs> for this whole season, and then you know I, I actually get to see y'all and um, see y'all faces, and you know it's dope. It's way better than you know looking at y'all on the computer screen. <laughs> All right. You want me to? Oh, All right. Last person in the room. We got one on Zoom, and then we. You obviously, oh, you obviously ahead. had an awesome season last year, and I'm curious, kind of, how do you want to build on that for this year? Or, you know, is it just about keeping it going? Is it about adding more to your game? I mean, kind of, how do you approach it? Uh, I mean, I don't. That season over with. It's like done. Even with the playoffs, I'm not even thinking about that. Uh, it's a whole new experience, whole new uh, everything for me. So, um, this season is going to be its own season. And it's its own. So I'm excited for the new experience. And uh, for me, I'm just coming in and trying to do what I do. Um, you know, help our team, play, make, impact the game when I'm in there in those minutes. Uh, and, you know, whatever happens, happens. And, you know, we're trying to win, um, you know, day to day for me to uh, rack up the wins in the, in the regular season, grow during the regular season, get to the playoffs. Get out the first round, get out the second round, <laughs> get out the West Coast, <laughs> and then try to get to the final. So, I mean, that's that, that's how that's how it's got to be broken up into, and you know, we can't look past nothing, and uh, you know, we got to stick to that day to day and go through the process and uh, of each each day. All right, last question will be on Zoom. It's uh, from Steve Angeles out of the, the Philippines. Can you hear me, Steve? What up, Steve? Jordan. Is that my jersey? Yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was going to ask you, you're like a national hero to us in the Philippines. Um, you did some stuff with anti-Asian hate. You kind of paved the way for other Filipinos to join the league. You actually get Jalen Green your fourth game this season. Um, just what do you think about this whole ride and where you were at now? Um, we were so proud of you when you got the Six Man Award. Just how do you feel about how you represented the Asian Filipino community during your career? Uh, I think it's been great. You know, I, I feel like you know, I've received so much love and I'm trying to continue to represent the country and, you know, the people and everything. So, uh, you know, the process has been great. Uh, something that, you know, that humbles me all the time. I didn't know how, you know, big and how much love the Philippines have for basketball. Uh, but being able to, you know, feel that and, um, you know, trying to make them proud and trying to pave a way for, you know, other Filipino Americans and, you know, Filipinos, period, uh, has just been, you know, one of my, you know, motives and stuff that's always in the back of my head when stepping on the court. You know, it's, it's nice seeing Jalen Green. He took the G League route and, um, you know, made his way. He had a great summer league. Um, and, you know, he's, he's getting a chance to play in Houston and uh, have the opportunity to grow into a star. So uh, I'm very excited for him, uh, his family and everything. And, you know, the next guys coming up, 
Um, hopefully they can follow in, you know, my footsteps and his footsteps as well. So, uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Peace, y'all. Appreciate y'all.